Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy, Receding Hairline here. And today we're going to be going over cleaning the pfft and the tss sounds in post for your vocals. Now, remember, if you want to have a more detailed tutorial on a general cleaning of vocals, I will make that. If you want to see that, leave a like and a comment below and a subscribe so you can come back and check it out. I'll do that for you guys. I'll explain what I did in this whole vocal process of this song. But right now I just want to explain the p and the sisses that come through. And no, it's not just buy a pop filter. Thanks a lot, smart stuff. Thanks every YouTuber musician that's ever given me a YouTube video. Great, I'll keep my face eight inches away from the mic with a pop filter halfway between. That's great. Okay, now let's actually go into fixing it in post with FL Studios plugins only, because we all don't have $200 to drop on vocal software. All right, guys. So. Follow along with me. We're gonna first listen to the song with everything, uh, partly because I just wanna show it off so you guys have another reason to come back. We're making the music video for this now. It's actually done being mastered, not this. This is the mixing project, but, and we're gonna be recording at the end of the month for it. So I hope you guys come back to check that out. Leave a subscribe for that. Uh, and a bell, hit that bell, bing, bing, bong. Okay, let's do this. So let's listen to this with everything. Yeah, she looking good in a dark place. Feeling like a heart that got misplaced, disgrace, feeling defaced, and looking away and feeling the shame. But I'ma drink the shit up like a hot cafe. Damn, even though I lost my way, I turn it to the eyes on a painted face. She welcome to the boys that she run the race. Leave a broke boys when she done her case. Thirsty for more, she will show no grace. She's gonna get a new place and a new space with some new lace, leaving no trace. Cause I came and I saw now I gotta get out. I hop in my car and I give her a shout. She gonna go down, gonna be in her mouth like a spout, ain't no doubt. Cause I know that she checking my clout. <laughs> All right, so yes, that was me if you were wondering. Uh, that was my vocals and my recording, and that was all uh, one take each. Okay, so let's get into this. Let's mute, am I actually recording the, the microphone this time? Good, I am. All right, am I not streaming? Good, I'm recording, okay, good. Uh, both. Okay, so uh, let's turn off the beat. Let's actually only play the vocals. And let me show you guys what we're dealing with before cleanup, then after cleanup, and then that's, after cleaning up, I noticed that the pfft and the sisses were coming in really hard, okay? So I'll show you guys how I did that. Let's listen to this quickly. This this is just garbage listening, listening to this. Yeah, she looking good in a dark place. Feeling like a heart that got misplaced, disgraced. Look at that, and that is away and some the garbage shame, but I'm right the there. Up like a hot cafe, damn. All right, we're not gonna listen to that anymore. Let's throw some uh, let's throw some effects and some cleaning up and uh, what I did on here, some saturation, all that good stuff. But we're leaving these two off because to fix the sisses and the poofs, we're gonna be using an EQ and we're gonna be using Maximus. I know a multiband compressor. If you're smart, you have figured it out already. But let's let's listen now. Yeah. yeah. She looking good in a dark place. Feeling like a heart that got misplaced, disgraced, feeling defaced, and looking away and feeling the shame, but I'ma drink the shit up like a hot cafe. Damn, even though I lost my way, I turned it to the eyes on a painted face. She walked up to the boys that she run the race, leaving broke boys when she does this her This is coming case. in too hot a lot. Will... Now, if you're hearing what I'm hearing, you're hearing that tss and pss still, even after this cleanup. I don't like it. I don't want it. Let's solve this problem right now, guys. All right? And I'm going to show you what I did. Let's activate these and listen again. Yeah. yeah. She looking good in a dark place. Feeling like a heart that got misplaced, disgraced, feeling defaced, and looking away and feeling the shame, but I'ma drink the shit up like a hot cafe. Damn, even though I lost my way, I turned it to the eyes on a painted face. She walked up to the boys that she Now look, that frequency right here that was giving us issues before isn't coming up above the body of the vocals. You don't want to destroy this frequency because you need it to express a lot of uh, what the emotion of what you're saying is or the vocalist is saying but you don't want it peaking, getting above everything else. That's not where the body of your vocal is. It's That's more of like, this range is all of the words put together in a sentence. And right here is whether it's a question mark. This is like literally the question mark or the punctuation. Like right here is the punctuation. This is where the emotion in your vocal is. This is the exclamation mark. This is the question mark. This is the period in your vo in that vocal structure. So you have like the body, you have the structure, and you have the emotion and the tone. Let's keep this without destroying it. And this is how we're going to accomplish this, guys. All right, so let's get rid of delay so you can hear what's going on here. 
So what the first thing we did, and it's probably going to be an obvious thing, and I hope you guys, you know, is you uh, bring in your EQ, obviously. Yeah. She looking good in a dark place. Feeling like a heart, like a misplaced, disgrace, feeling defaced, and looking away and feeling the shame, but I'ma drink the shit up like a hot cafe. Damn, even though I lost my way, I turned the- Now, if you want to know how I did this, uh, let's just do it quickly. I know you guys know how to use a parametric EQ, but for the sake of the video, let's open up a new parametric EQ. All right, so we have a new EQ. Let's identify where the band is. So, like, make the band uh, sharper. Yeah, she looking good in a dark place. Feeling like a heart, like a misplaced disgrace. So I'm hearing it from there, right there. That's the frequency. So let's pull it down a little bit. And let's tighten up that band a little as well. All right, here we go. Yeah, she looking good in a dark place. Feeling like a heart, like a misplaced disgrace. All right, that's a little better. All right, so there isn't much to do other than that. You need to do that, but you need to keep some of those frequencies. All right, the next thing is where it gets complicated but is what really is going to save your vocal track is uh, let's open up Maximus. And let me explain what I'm doing here before I show it you it, okay? So what I'm doing here, now look at these bands. You're going to see that this, these lows are, uh, this is a really big low band, right? That's covering frequencies that are way further than low. Yes, I know. I know, guys. I understand. We're not using Maximus to, as, as a compressor tool in this instance. Uh, what we're doing, if you noticed here, is these bands up here are very short. My high frequency and my mid frequency bands, right? And you'll notice that the form on here is a little bit different for each of them. Uh, this is important because, well, I'm going to show you. So let's solo our lows and listen to the body of it. Yeah, she's looking good in a dark place. Feeling like a heart, like a misplaced. That's like almost all the vocals, right? That's the body. And I'm not compressing it at all. Okay, but what I did was I identified what frequencies were giving me the most trouble that and the ps. I went and found those obviously with an EQ or with this, you just go like this and you can hunt around with your low and mid. Oh, but right now you're hearing it with the compression, so it doesn't sound god awful. So, what's going on here, Professor? Well, I'm glad you asked. All right. So, you'll notice that the uh, volume right here is being pushed back down when it gets too loud. Let's remove all compression that I have on these bands and listen to this. Now, if you're hearing what I'm hearing, you're hearing the sisses and the poofs really spike through. I don't want that. What I want to do is find out that frequency, which I did, and you should have done by now. Go and watch down here, and watch where the body is okay of this frequency, but watch where it needs to not pop out hot. So I like everything that's below this form. I wish I could make this even bigger so I could show you guys. But I want, I don't want these coming through. This is the worst. I'll make it so you guys can only hear that actually, that tone. Listen to this. Yeah, you guys hear that? That's what's going. That's what's coming through here that we don't like. So to eliminate that, 
need you to pull this line down and compress it, either a soft compress or a hard compress. But what this graph means is this is what wants to come out of the vocal. This is the volume that wants to come out. But even if it's going up this high, you won't let it go beyond this peak. So right now, you're going to notice that it's going to sound much better. So what we're listening to now is we didn't really lose any of the important stuff here. In fact, all we did was, and it's important to make sure your attack is at the lowest because you need it to clip in immediately. And your release is low because you need it to allow that vote, that compression to go back to normal when you're not going anymore. You need that really as much of that track you can to come through. But right now, I'm chopping off the extra volume. Well, rather than chopping off, actually, I'm not chopping off something. What I'm doing is I'm pushing down the volume when it comes too high. And that was the problem, was I was going in too hard. So create maybe a filter right here. Remember, we're not using Maximus as a normal limiter here. So we're not going to be sacrificing volume in the end. What we're doing is we're cleaning up the, 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 the waveform and the frequencies to then we can make louder, but we want it to sound good before we go make it louder, okay? So I've done that in the same way with the upper one as well. If you're having trouble moving the points, just hold Alt while you do this, or else it's going to be like this. That's weird. Hold Alt and you should while you're moving, and you should be able to move. But again, I'm applying this to another waveform. I noticed that this version of the tss need to be treated a little differently. You don't have to, but I just wanted to treat them like that. If you don't want to, just move the high all the way up here. Just go do it in your mids. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to uh, wanted to treat them separately. So remember, we are using this multiband compressor not to push down the overall volume or boost yeah. the overall volume. She's looking good in a dark place. Feeling like a heart like a misplaced disgrace. Same, but I'm a drink what we're really like doing a hot cafe. Damn, even though I lost my way, I turned into the eyes on a painted face. Is making sure that those ugly uh, ear offens offensive uh, frequencies aren't coming in and really ruining the vocals on your, on your take. Uh, and that's important when you want someone to listen to it over and over. If you really want your track to shine, everything you can do to make it sound better counts, especially when you're going to get it mastered later. Because when you master something, everything that's good shines and everything that's bad shines too. It's like t polishing up the best, but then you also see that there's a shit stain below, like on the wood or something. I don't know. You took off all the dirt, but there's still a shit. You want to make sure you get rid of that shit stain before you polish up the wood. You don't want to apply the finishing touches till your song is ready. That's when you want to master. So record. I'll talk about recording habits too if you guys want to. But let's stick with the let's stick with the the theme here. So remember, EQ a little bit of the frequencies out by finding them, and then create your maximus uh, as well. Your your um, your filters here. That way, you don't have to worry about them being so harsh on the listener's ear okay so let's go listen to the difference again yeah she looking good in a dark place feeling like a heart like a misplaced disgrace feeling defaced and looking away and feeling the shame but i'ma drink the shit up like a hot cafe damn even though i lost my way i turned into the eyes on a painted face she walked up to the boys that she run the race leaving broke boys when she done her case thirsty for more she would now if you're afraid you're losing volume Remember, you can just put a limiter later down in the chain or on the master track for your vocals. Not on the master track, but on your submix master. And just yeah. push up the gain a little bit and pull down the ceiling. Yeah. yeah. She looking good in a dark place. Feeling like a heart, like a misplaced disgrace. Feeling defaced and looking away and feeling the shame. But I'ma drink the shit up like a hot cafe. Damn, even though I lost my way, I turned into the eyes on a painted face. She now, normally... Uh, you want to put your limiter before your things like your delay, all right? But I just am showing that for an example, okay? 
Um, that is how you are going to be able to help remedy some of those issues in post with FL Studios. I really just wanted to show that to you guys so you had a chance to hear. And I wanted to explain it so you guys could apply it as well to your own vocals. I really want you to treat um, each vocal track that you go to edit, I want you to treat them uh, special. Each vocal track you do needs to be treated. Uh, treated special. Every vocal track is different. Every vocal take is different. Your vocals are different than your buddies. So let's go back and listen to this one more time just so I can hopefully get you guys excited for the song. I hope you guys get excited for the song. And then I'm gonna outro you guys. So yeah, she looking good in a dark place. Feeling like a heart that got misplaced, disgrace, feeling defaced, and looking away and feeling the shame. But I'ma drink the shit up like a hot cafe. Damn, even though I lost my way, I turn into the eyes on a painted face. She walk up to the boys that she run the race. Leave a broke boys when she done her case. Thirsty for more, she will show no. Anyways, guys, that's uh pretty much the uh that's pretty much the all in all of that. Hey, if this helped you guys out, uh, please, like I said, leave a like and a subscribe. Hey, check out the social media links as well. I got Pond5, Beat Stars, where I sell the beats. Uh, also, if you guys want the beats cheaper, because normally they sell for like 10, 30 bucks, whatever, it just depends on what I feel like, I give one free beat away, or not free, I guess, but I give one beat away each month to my Patreon subscribers of $5 tier or more. So if you like some of these, I make sure to subscribe to my Patreon and get a free beat each month. I will be changing it up. And there's higher rewards too. And you can do them whatever you want with them. Uh, only thing is, they come with the vocal tag at the beginning and the end. Uh, so, I hope you guys have an excellent day. Thanks again for dropping by. Love you guys. Subscribe, hit the bell, and you guys are awesome. Take it easy. I really appreciate it, guys. Peace.